Hey everybody, today we're going to cover some fans' questions about the 3D uh, printed engines that I've designed. So what I'm wanting to do in this video is basically just talk, I'm not going to go into how to draw all in Fusion 360, okay? But I'm going to talk about, you know, basically how you can create uh, giant scale radial engines or even the uh, flat boxer engines like for a Piper Cub. But... Um, uh, I got really obsessed with designing Infusion 360, uh, these engines, so uh, I'm going to show you basically some of the engines and what they look like when they're done. At the end, I'll show you what these engines look like when they're done. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you next time. Rock on, everybody. So before we get too far into seeing the models that were created, I want to kind of give you a demonstration here of just how I created a cylinder. And if you want to learn more about Fusion 360, there's hundreds of tutorials out there, and I'm not going to dig into any of that. I just want to show you, basically, you create the cylinders in halves so that you can 3D print them off a of bed. And uh, once you start to learn how to draw these parts, the rest of it will come with time. But you need to draw this in 3D so you can export it as an STL file that then can go to a slicer program, and then you go to your 3D printer. So the Lerone I did, uh, Lerone 9 here, is a third scale engine. I have been commissioned to do a half scale and a 60% scale um, in the past. And um, basically, I always start with the cylinder. So here's a picture of the cylinder. And I have a front and back half, like I just showed you, of the actual cylinder um, itself. And then I have a head that goes on top. And this all becomes one part. The next part that I draw is um, and design is like the intake, the push rod, the bearings, the valves. In theory, all this could really move. If you really wanted to make a scale around, you could make all of these move, and it would be um, it'd be pretty cool. As far as CAD time, it took me about 75 hours to uh, actually create this model, and then it took me about uh, two or three test prints to then go back and get everything tweaked right, so everything printed perfect. Then the next thing that I decided to take on was just a nine a cylinder radial, uh, like a Pratt & Whitney type. This isn't super scaled to any particular radial. It was just something I decided to take on. And you know these work great with my big um, half scale uh, electric uh, planes. And here's a Boxster engine I designed um, for a guy that has a half scale cub. And um, this was a really exciting project right here because when this was done, there was no way to put the motor on the inside, so he asked me to design a way to get the motor to work without cutting up the chassis, uh, I mean the block of the engine. So what we did was we mounted a hacker engine on a secondary firewall, or the backside of a secondary firewall, and it went through the motor. I did the same thing on this Mercedes here engine for a friend that was, uh, who commissioned me to basically make this for, uh, Oh, I can't remember which aircraft he stuck this in, but uh, it, were, it turned out perfect. And it was half scale. This was a half scale engine. Now, this engine, this two row radial, is what's going on in my MSL 2. If you're not familiar with that airplane, it's a 188 inch wingspan plane I designed myself as if it was like an air racer of the 1930s. And look at that red motor mount there. This is the actual motor mount once I TIG welded it up and mounted it to the front of the airplane. This engine took me only about 48 hours to actually design in CAD time, but um, the 3D printing it uh, and all the parts took uh, almost two weeks just because you have so many parts in this engine. And uh, this was the first engine, by the way, that I actually designed the um, kind of a dummy exhaust system, even though in this picture here, it's not in this video here, it's not completely finished. The exhaust pipes aren't coming outside the cowling yet. And uh, so it worked really good. Now, this project right here is probably the most exciting thing I've done since I started doing 3D printing. This is a, a J5 whirlwind engine for a quarter scale Spirit of St. Louis that is museum quality. And, you know, designing on this, I did everything kind of backwards. I designed the um, engine crankcase first and all the carburation and everything that went to the crankcase was what I designed first. Then I did the magnetos. Then I did the cylinders. And uh, when it was done, uh, it was fabulous. And, and here's the model when it's done. And at the end of this video, you'll see the uh, actually 3D printed model that was created for my customer, 100% um, done. I tell you, this, this just came out so good, it blew my mind. And then I was asked to build some P38 
turbochargers um, or superchargers, turbo superchargers, whatever they call them. And um, this turned out really, really cool. Uh, it's it's really, really neat project. So, so you understand how they get 3D printed. They lay on the bed like this and they get 3D printed up off that bed. And essentially you need to design your parts so you know exactly how they're gonna work with, within the uh, perimeters of the 3D printer. And it's really not that hard. Sometimes you need to um, uh, build things that support stuff because you can't just have something print, go up the, uh, you know, the Y axis and then go across the Z axis or it'd fall down. So this is the front of the crankcase. And um, right here you'll see basically what happens when I need to have parts supported in the 3D print. So right here, I sliced it up and you'll see those supports and they just break off when I'm done with the uh, plane, I mean the engine. This is a finished front half of a crankcase and this is after I did an acetone treatment to smooth out all the lines so you don't see the 3D printed lines. This was a finished prototype of the uh, Piper Cub engine. And this though was only, this was small. This was not the uh, half scale. This was a uh, quarter scale. So yeah, this right here is a quarter scale um, Cub engine. And these were some heads that I was asked to make that go on the left and right hand sides of a gas banger airplane. And they still wanted the heads in there. Here's the Lerone engine when it was finished. And this one right here was third scale. Right here is, uh, this was a mock-up of the Mercedes. I don't have any finished pictures. For some reason, I never took any pictures before I sent them away. And then the Whirlwind J5, this is what it looked like when it was done. And uh, it's probably the coolest 3D project I've ever done. And just so you all know, all the files and everything is available on my Patreon. If you want to download them from my Patreon and 3D print them, I am backed up on commission projects, uh, gosh, until uh, the middle of 2022 right now, probably March of 2022. So I'm not taking on any new work. That's not the reason for this video. So everybody have a fantastic day, and I hope this all is informative to you, and take care.